Welcome back to the Good Morning Show. With the economic fallout because of coronavirus, many people are downsizing their homes and clearing out those houses of unused items. This means a lot of yard sales. So our Blanca Cobb is here. She says that teens can start to learn some valuable lessons if they're involved in their family's yard sales. Good morning, Blanca. We're going to talk more about this. So yesterday you said you had a yard sale and your daughter was in charge. Tell us more about that. Yeah, she was. She just graduated high school. She's on her way to college. And, and as a mom or and as a parent at home, you want to make sure that your kids are successful when they leave the house. And one really important life skill is just learning about work and business. So when we started cleaning out our house, we decided about having a yard sale and some really good skills that she got to learn about and participate in. Like, how do you organize and plan a yard sale? And then you have customer service because you're going to be dealing with people who come to your yard sale. And then also, how are you going to negotiate prices? And if by li leaving her in charge of that, I was there and I could guide it. So if she had a question, she could ask. But it's also very empowering when they can lead something on their own. Right, absolutely. I want to break down those concepts you mentioned, uh, planning and organizing. What specifically can teenagers learn when they do that? Well, it's more than just picking a date and putting items outside of your house and just hoping, right, hoping people are going to come. It's really planning. So you have to pick the date, but then how are you going to let people know? So that's where the advertising comes in. Are you going to post it online? And where would you post it online? Or are you going to write signs and you're going to post them around the neighborhood? Also, what happens if it rains? Do you have to start thinking about you're still going to have it or would you move everything into the garage because we're in the middle of the pandemic we have to be very sensitive and mindful of social distancing so where in your yard or your garage are you going to place the items to protect people and also you have to think about payment methods also are you going to are you capable and willing to accept online payments app payments you know like venmo for example or do you only want cash and then you also have to think about parking yeah all things that you don't necessarily consider at first uh, and finally right. customer service here at blanca teenagers i'm sure can learn a lot about interacting with people through that absolutely maddie that's exactly right so not only do they have to know the product whatever it is they're selling you know sometimes it's like who made the product or does it work or show me how it works and you want to demonstrate to anybody before they leave that it was something electronical that they that it will work because once they leave your property of course you don't want to come you know if they come back and bring it back that could be a whole nother ball game but sometimes people will so if you have a customer who comes back and doesn't want that item how are you going to handle it and then also how are you going to handle any other snafus that might come up with people one big thing about customer service is that you want to be warm and friendly and inviting. It's just like with any business. So is your teenager just going to sit around as customers come up and start looking or are they going to stand up and say, hi, how are you? Glad that you're here. Thanks for stopping by. People do business with people who they like, who they admire and who they trust. And customer service is a really big part of it. So it's more than just the yard sale. You're getting your kids conditioned to start thinking, about how they're going to be when they are working. Yeah, good points there, Blanca. Great conversation. We'll continue it in the next hour. We're going to pick up with what teenagers can learn from negotiating when they lead a yard sale. Maybe I can learn a few things too. Stay tuned. By the way, you can continue this conversation with Blanca on our Facebook page. Just search Blanca Cobb Body Language Expert.